welcome back to Bevan's Corner. In today's video, I wanted to do something that I haven't seen done on YouTube for a little while, and that is the what is in my bag tag. So I've got my bag here and I'm just gonna go through the contents and basically show you what's in my bag. I used to love watching these when they first came out and I know they haven't really been done for a little while, but hey ho, let's be nosy and see what's going on in here. The bag that I like to use is this one, which is just from Skinny Dip and it is a little rucksack. And I think it was about 14 pounds and considering that I use it, pretty much every day. I thought that was a really good value for a cute little bag. And it has sort of like this glitter, holographic, is that the right word? Um, kind of body to it. And then this really nice kind of like metallic-y feature on the top and the bottom. So yeah, that's the actual bag. And then the first thing that I have in here, just to open it up, is an umbrella that I got from Munkle and I absolutely love it. I was looking for a brolly for a little while and I don't know why, but I didn't want like just a normal pink or black or something brolly. I wanted like a bit of a funky brolly. So I got this one and it's got some naked ladies on it. I can't actually remember how much it was, but living in Britain, it's always good to have a brolly with you. The second thing that I have are my keys. Um, so I've got this like mini mouse charm thing that I've had for ages, I think from Primark maybe. Then I've got my actual house key. And then this came on a bottle of gin, I think. Basically Jack bought it and it came with a little thing and just thought it was funky, so I put it on my keys. Then I have this little star charm, which was in a Christmas cracker. If you watched my Vlogmas from last year, then it is in there. And then finally, this was a present from Connor, who I went to Disneyland with quite a few years ago. Um, and it is this little Mickey Mouse as Steamboat Willie. And I've had this on my keys ever since we went. So those are my keys. So the next thing in my bag is a Summer Sun Beach Body Spray. And this was from Primark and I got it. Oh wow, this is really old. And as you can probably tell, it's quite worn. It's been in my bag for a million years. And basically everyone says that, do you know how people have like a smell? Apparently this is my smell and this is what I smell like. So I was like, cool, don't mind smelling like a beach body spray, summer sun, very nice. But yeah, I think it was like £1.50 and I use it so much and I don't understand why it's still going, but if you want like a spray that goes in your bag, Primark is amazing and they're so cheap and they do last quite a while. So yeah, so let's see our next thing. The next item that's in my bag is a little bit dirty and worse for wear, but it is this, oh boy, Mickey Mouse little bag. I got this from Primark before I went to Disneyland as well. Um, and it's also got a little Mickey Mouse bit on the zip, which is really cute. Um, so in here, I've got not one, but two face masks because you can't be too careful so got a couple of those and they're covered in makeup because that's great um and then i've also got a phone charger which i think this is the one that i showed in my essentials for pride i think so it's the exact same one and i've had it for ages and i think i got it from tesco but i absolutely love having this because i'm not really one i'm quite lucky i'm not really one where my phone dies all the time but if I'm out for a really long day or if I'm out with friends or something and you want to take Snapchats and photos and videos or if I'm vlogging, then I really like having a spare phone charger in my bag. And I've also got a coconut oil hand cream, which I bought from Wilco's for like £1.50. And I think because of needing to wash your hands and using loads of stuff at the moment, they, my palms go really dry. And I think it is just using sanitizer and stuff all the time. So I decided to buy one of those. Then I've got some hand sanitizer and this is just sanitizing hand gel, aloe vera can't be too careful. Then I've got a really old um, Carmex with Charlie Brown on it because can't go wrong with a lip 
gloss lip balm i don't really know what you call it lip balm um, but again i've had for ages and is always in the bottom of my bag and yeah it just comes in a little pot like that and it's just nice to have on your person and then the last thing in this little bag is a mirror that one of my ex-boyfriend's grandma bought me for christmas um and yeah it's just a little compact mirror with a doggy on it so yeah why not then the next thing that i have is again from primark and it's a little glasses case with a pug on it and i bought this when pugs were like the most fashionable thing ever it is quite broken i really do need another one um but in here i've got not one but two pairs of sunglasses uh again i think these are from primark actually these ones are from primark and these are really nice however they are so kind of like then they don't really protect your eyes that much but they just look nice and then these ones i'm pretty sure i actually found them at a festival um but i've had them for like the longest time and they're kind of like my go-to sunglasses but it's nice to have a couple of pairs depending on what outfit you want and then the last thing last but not least is my really old purse and um, this is from accessorize and it was really cute it did have another sticker here which i peeled off um it has a owl sticker on that bit then i've just got all my cards and stuff in here there isn't it's not that exciting really because i don't have anything really in this apart from sort of like cards and then things like that but i hope alice doesn't mind but i've got a picture of her when she was in year nine um she literally gave it to me i can't remember why and it has been in my purse ever since this is a very old photo i've got a little charm under there and that is because when i was in sixth form me and my friend josh decided to print off loads of photos of professor oak from pokemon and then down the sides and along the bottom was charmander um bulbasaur and squirtle and we kind of cut it up so people could just rip it off and we put it's dangerous out there take one of these and we stuck them all around the school because we had a free period so what else would you do and we all like took one for ourselves before we put them up and then we put them around the school and then we had a free period after the break and then we went round and everyone took one and we just thought that's really cute also got two little like beatrix potter 50ps i've got a australian thing like i think it's a scent maybe i don't know i'm not very good with the uh, with currency and then i've got a token like a little golden token there and that was from a ride from the buell buell hill buell hill firework display that i went to a few years ago um and then in the back there um is something pretty cool a guy called aaron that i used to live with he can write in lord of the rings elvish and if you know me i absolutely love lord of the rings um so he wrote me in lord of the rings elvish the lyrics to never gonna give you up and they have also been in my purse since like first year but yeah that is pretty much everything in my bag and the thing with my bag is i really like having things and little bags and things like this just to kind of know where everything is because my bag is just one big bag there isn't any sectioning or anything like that so i used to just kind of chuck everything in there and then you can't find anything so that's why i have loads of little bags and like things like this so i can find everything but yeah i hope you enjoyed and enjoyed being a bit nosy and just seeing what's in my bag but yeah thank you so much for watching give it a like and subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye